Joining us right now is Americans for Tax Reform President Grover Norquist to talk more about it. Grover, the White House is looking to pass this bill by September. Yes. Good morning to you. Yeah. Give us your reaction to Ryan's plan to overhaul the tax system and what you heard yesterday. Well, Ryan's talk yesterday was extremely important, but with the victories in the Georgia special election and the South Carolina special election, there was a huge exclamation mark on that speech because Ryan said, here's what we're going to do. And then right behind him was the political strength to help make that easier to do. And the White House, as you point out, came in and not only said, yes, we're going to do it this year, but we're going to do it in September. Uh, what Ryan did point out is that the House, the Senate, and the White House are all meeting as we move forward, as we continue to work on health care and all the other issues and all the distractions, they're meeting regularly. They're going to come up with a unified plan, not a House plan, a Senate plan, and a White House plan, and then months more of negotiation. We are pre-negotiating a House, Senate, White House position, and he walked through. Death tax goes away. The alternative minimum tax goes away. The corporate rate comes down dramatically. He didn't say 15 or 20, but dramatically. Uh, Subchapter S uh, taxes also come down to 15 or 20, as small businesses pass through uh, companies. And then he talked about territoriality and making it permanent. I think he really outlined what we've always understood to be the outlines of any agreement, and he made it clear yeah. that this year and the House, Senate, and the White House, it's not like, here's my plan, right. I hope everyone likes it. It's our plan, and it's coming together. But when you say, here's our plan, our plan is also including a border adjustment tax that we didn't hear anything about yesterday. Look, I agree with you. I, definitely, the tone seems to be changing. Yesterday, Mark Meadows came on the Fox Business Network basically saying, look, we're going to get this done. He, of course, the head of the uh, Freedom Caucus, uh, w which has been, uh, you know, the, the, the pushback on, on health care. So it seems like there's a lot of coalescing going on right now, and there is a lot of common ground. But what about the opposition to... Uh, Ryan's plan to the border adjustment tax. Well, if you look, that's the border adjustability of the corporate income tax is one of the areas where retailers and others have been very much opposed. It, it has some uh, supporters in manufacturing, right. uh, and it could end up as part of the final plan. I think if you deconstruct the House plan and then put it back together again with Senate and White House input. It, it could go either way on the border adjustability. It's not, it's not inside the circle of things that are definitely going to be in the plan. What Ryan did say, though, is he needs permanent and territoriality. And the border adjustability made permanent territoriality easier. There may be other ways to do it, um, but he's looking for, and I think the markets are looking for, both the territorial tax system instead of worldwide and permanency. You know, uh, Grover, you know, you talk about how the plan is being negotiated beforehand, uh, the House and Senate working together. We're watching right now is this health care bill. Uh, the, the House passed a bill that the Senate immediately deemed unacceptable. It's like keystone cops out there in health care. Why, why is the tax bill going to be different? What are they doing differently here? Sure. Fewer moving parts, and every Republican is largely for every one of the tax cuts that are being discussed. The only question is how many can fit in the box. So it's not like, I don't want to cut this tax. It's, can I fit this tax cut in to something that fits within uh, the structures that the House and the Senate have in their rules about making it permanent, about making it deficit neutral in year 11 and out or 26 and out. So the other part is the entire business community is united on wanting those rates down dramatically. The Republican... A coalition wants the death tax and the AMT gone and the in individual rates down and the doubling of the personal uh, exemption. So there's a tremendous positive pressure, support for all the major pieces of tax reduction. Some of the pay fors, you know, how do we're going to raise taxes here to pay for a tax reduction here? Those are not necessarily consensus issues. They're not terribly popular. Right. Uh, but there is agreement on the direction they're going. And if you're a Republican congressman, you want one year of strong economic growth going into 2018 House and Senate races. There is a timetable. Get this done and make it dramatically pro-growth. It's the most important thing you can do if you want to get yourself reelected. So even though they're going to have some differences, whether it be the rate of the corporate 
tax, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the House plans all the way up to 25 percent. Uh, the border no, adjustment No, they moved tax, it to 20. All right, they 20. came down to 20. I, I bet you they agree on 22 percent. Uh, even though you've got all these differences and then the differences on the deductions, what's eliminated or not, you think they're going to coalesce, come together and get something done in 2017. Real quick, Grover. Yes, absolutely. You not only heard it from Ryan, when you talk to the folks on the Senate side and the White House, they are meeting regularly at the top levels uh, weekly, and they're moving in the right direction. Yeah. Grover, thank you so much. Great to see you, sir. Thank you. Grover Norquist joining us.